This is the design for nearly two dozen affordable homes for veterans and their families. And now the project may never happen. New at 530, 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky went into the community to find out why neighbors don't want the Poway Veterans Project in their community. Right now, the land in question is an empty lot with a fence around it. Some folks think it's the perfect spot to put veterans' families. As a veteran, it's, it's a black eye to me because we don't do enough for our, our veterans. Thomas right, Farrell served in our military for 26 years. He has a vision for this empty lot on Twin Peaks Road. Where most people see dirt, blowing leaves, and a few trash cans, he sees room to build affordable housing for veterans. The city has worked on these plans for three years. Habitat for Humanity was lined up to pay for most of it. There's even a waiting list of families to move in. But Tuesday night, the Poway City Council voted no, three to two. I thought that I lived in a place in the city of Poway which holds veterans, you know, very high. We have a beautiful veterans park here. But for us, a lot of us, we're just like disheartened now. I walked across the street into the neighboring community. Everyone I found is vehemently against the project. You'll have 22 homes with maybe four, uh, two vehicles each, so that'd be 44. So you'd have more vehicles online. With three schools nearby, they say the rush hour traffic along Twin Peaks Road is already horrible. And they're offended that some people are questioning their motives in opposing the project. We're not against veterans, and Poway's a great community. There's a lot of veterans here. We have veterans along the street that are all here. Just we didn't like the way it was pr promoted. The land is specifically zoned for affordable housing, but for now, it looks like it will stay an empty lot. In Poway, Jeff Lasky, 10 News. 10 News track down.